I didn't like the record when I heard the final mix. I was, you know, in my mind, they destroyed my record, you know. Right. And, uh, and then, you know, I was, I was just not mature enough to understand the direction they were going. But once, once it hit, I, I, I caught on. I, I, I caught on quick. You know, I was like, okay, yeah, I get it. You know. And then from there, uh, he asked me to join his band. Mm. Wow. And, and, and really, that song and that video was so innovative because there was, like, no people in that video except, like, Herbie well, on a monitor. Every on a monitor. And that, well, the truth is that's because MTV at the time didn't play black people. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. And so that's, that's horrible. That's why, did they, did that's they why I'm flat out, it. I mean, did they flat out refuse... Yeah, they didn't play black people. Yeah, yeah. 1980, yeah that's, that's 1983, cool, yeah. MTV did not play black people. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're right, man. I, I actually, uh, I Rick remember James watching had something to sue about them. MTV, and that's right. what they said. They, like, they didn't say, we don't play black people, but what they said was, uh, it's not that we don't want to play black people. It's just most of our audience is white. Like a white family can't re- relate to black people. Like so, they pretty much were saying. Oh, like, that's, that's, that's yeah. Bullshit, they said it's not, they were. That's horrible. Yeah, they said like most of their audience was white, and they white people don't want to watch black people on TV. That's what they said. Like, it was crazy shit, man. Right. So that that um. I just think let's just think about that for a minute. You know, like the insanity. Mm-hmm. And, and how it affects how it affects forward progress for people to learn and grow and teach, you know. Like you didn't see me, you know. And the most they cat was a little bit of Herbie on a screen that you can barely tell, you know. And that happened because of racism, you know. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, we 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 just. We just let it go, like it's it's okay when it affected history negatively. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's 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 something that we should talk about how how things are now, especially in the entertainment field, that could have gone a different way if that did not exist. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We could we could move that into every field of 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 human experience. You know, sports. You name it. You know, and that that mm. that bothers me to this day that that happened, and the reason why is because some sort of insanity. You know, your 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 color yeah. is not the right color, so we're going to alter history because of it. Yeah, I had a problem with crazy. that, man, and I that's had a problem with that. Yeah, man. Like even even think about like. Like rock music, like what they did to black musicians with rock music. A lot, a lot of yeah, white it, musicians it, stole their music from it, black off people. Off all the songs, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, like people well, think of rock and roll and think white people like that's white music. It really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it really right. wasn't. Yeah. Like, like it was both. Yeah. Well, it's still happening today, and and it's never going to stop. It's still yeah. happening today. It yeah. hasn't changed. You know, um, the farm changes how it shapes to give you the illusion that things are changing, but it, it, it really doesn't, really doesn't change. It's always an attack, you know. At that time, but, you know, uh, you're a young man, you're, you're breaking into, you know, entertainment business and, and uh, things are going good. Um, how did you cope with that? How did you, how did you deal with that? I was very disappointed. We were in London, and um, they explained to me that they had to basically make make a, like a race. It, Rocket became a race record, but in the video age, you know. And that you know, I was thinking about those, you know, the old um, rock and roll groups where they would have, you know, animals on the cover instead of the people. You know, it was basically that. You know, and it's like, wow, you know, this is the greatest moment of my life as far as my career, and, and I'm dealing with 
white supremacy and an and actual race record but the, the most technological advanced record of the time but the mindset around it is based on some you know mental illness you know that 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 is yeah. perceived as normal you know what I'm saying and so it, it, it was just very frustrating and so, so you know some people just went along with it because they're used to going along with it but I'm you know I'm not that type of person Yeah. Back then, yeah. I was well, I was yeah. the first uh, DJ. I was the only DJ touring like that with turntables, like a rock and roll tour. And so they had to come up all of those things, like the road cases, all of that stuff they made in the rocket band. Because after going through ten pairs of twelve hundreds, you know, we had to figure out how. Because we first started carrying them in boxes, the boxes you buy them in, you know, and then. Um, we we started making different types of road cases, and finally they they made the one that everybody used. But all all of that came from the Rocket Band. Um, That's history right there. How to travel That's with history. turntables like that, road cases with turntables, all of that. The company named C Factor and Calzone; those were the two companies. Because um, we get to the gig, and the, the tone arm will be broken, you know. It was just a nightmare uh, trying to move turntables around back then when there were no road cases. And and also, I couldn't get uh, techniques to endorse me at all. That was also just racism. Um, they refused to give me an endorsement. And uh, so I bought every pair of 1200s. I, I never got a pair free. Um, they tried wow, to give man. me a free um, yeah, that's what happens, man. When you, that's that's a real pioneer, man. I was at the beginning of it, you know. I carried the torch, right. went through all all the torture, all the all the you know discrimination. I I was the one that had to deal with that. And then once it became an everyday commodity, when they started selling more turntables than guitars, you know, everything changed. I mean, all the Japanese yeah. DJs got three turntables, but I never got a pair. But you know, and I don't complain. Hey, that's what it was. When when uh, techniques, I, I ran into them at the the uh, winter music conference, and they asked me to sign a turntable, and I declined. I respectfully declined, you know. And you know, they couldn't give me anything at that point. And I, you know, I, I did it honorably, like no, thank you, you know. Um, I no longer use technique turntables. And unfortunately, you know, they didn't see the vision and they did they mm-hmm. they did not have the humanity to recognize uh what I was giving to the world and so they denied me. And so when the, when the shoe was on the other foot, I denied them. And I did it respectfully. I said, No thank That's you, I humbly you, man. Yeah, it was like uh, yeah, you didn't You'd have made it this far without them uh, fucking with you for real anyway, so don't come fuck with me now, man. Nah, I'm cool on y'all. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I, I don't did, even I have to blast y'all I about did, it or not. Yeah, I did it real respectfully. I said I declined. I declined from doing that, man. 